Hey there, Crafty Jennabuck here. So, I'm gonna try something different today because you know I like to do that every now and then. I like to change it up while still doing the same thing. Anywho, um, one of our locally owned stores sells a lot of really funky, um, large woodcut earrings, and I love them. Well, they had a few that were blank. These are just plain black circles that are about mm, two inches, two and a half inches in diameter. Well, I decided these would be really cool and to paint pour. These would be really cool to paint pour on. And that's what I'm gonna do. But not only am I going to paint pour on these, you know, since they're kind of small, it would be a little weird to, um, to just paint pour on them. It would be a lot of paint mixing just to pour on some small canvases for lack of a better word. So what I decided to do is bring in a canvas. I am going to do a paint pour like I would for a regular eight by 10 canvas, but I'm gonna have these, I'm gonna, but I'm going to remove the earrings the hooks and the metal from the wood piece. And then I'm gonna have them propped up over the canvas, do my paint pour over them and let the paint drip off onto the canvas and then tilt it like I would a normal paint pour. So that is what we are going to do today. I gotta figure out some colors first. I'm thinking neons because I think this black will the neons will really pop off of. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to prime these. Probably should. And then I'll seal them once they're dry. But I'm really excited about this. As soon as I found these earrings, I have another set too that I'll do in another video. And they're not the same shape. Um, as soon as I saw these earrings, I knew I had to have them and I had to do this, so. I'm really excited, let's get started. Let's get crafting. All right, first things first, we gotta get these earrings taken apart. Are you gonna focus on my hand or are you gonna focus on, there we go. We gotta get these earrings taken apart first. And it's as simple as that. I'm gonna close that back up. Okay, I'm just gonna set this aside so that we can reattach them later. And now we just have our blanks. I think I'm going to put a layer of black paint on them right before I do the paint pour. That way they have a little bit of paint on them and it'll help the neon colors flow. So let's get some paints mixed up and we'll be ready to rock. All right, so I'm ready to mix my paints, and I think I'm gonna do something I've never done before. I think I'm going to attempt a clean pour. So the difference between a clean pour and a dirty pour is the dirty pours, like I have done in the past, you put all of the different colors into one cup and then pour with it. In a clean pour, each color is in its own individual cup and applied to the painting one at a time. So I think that's what we're gonna do, cause that's what I'm feeling. I have a few different, oh, you can't even see. I've got an assortment of neons. I've got neon orange, oh, neon orange, neon orange, neon yellow, focus. Neon blue, neon green, and neon pink. I am just going to add some to each cup. 
Now I still, I'm, I am still pouring over an 8x10 canvas, so I'm going to need enough paint to both cover the earrings, which isn't going to be much, and to cover the painting. <laughs> got our colors mixed up and now we got to set up the canvas all right so what I've done is I've got the same size cups that I used to mix the paint in and I took the earring pieces stuck a toothpick through the hole and broke it off and then taped the back so that the toothpick couldn't get escape I'm going to take a piece of masking tape. Come on. Why you gotta be difficult tape. I'm gonna stick it to the back and then stick it to the cup. And that way the paint can right off, run off the sides. And when I'm ready to tilt the canvas, I can just move these cups to the side. So. Do that with this one. Now I'm just going to take a little bit of black acrylic paint that does not have anything added to it and I'm just gonna do that. Not sure that it's even going to make much of a difference but it might it might. Hopefully it gives it something to, the, hopefully it gives the neon paint something to glide on. Let this drip for a little while and then take them off and tilt. That's really all the dripping we're gonna get. So I'm just gonna take this, move it off, take this one, move it off, and we're gonna tilt. Look at the crazy eye thing going on in there. That's nuts. I see you. You know what? Looks like a neon, a psychedelic ninja turtle. All right, that turned out pretty awesome. So, excuse me, as we do, I'm going to let this sit 
and dry. We'll be back to see the final product. There are lots of little black specks in here and I'm wondering how that's going to change because I did not add any pouring medium, any Floetrol or any other pouring medium to the black that I used. It was just straight black acrylic paint when I put them, when I put it on the, um, the earrings. It was just plain old black acrylic paint. So that's going to be interesting to see how that affects. It's going to be interesting to see how that affects the way the paint changes as it dries. Very interesting. So, um, I think now that my hands are relatively paint free, I'm going to bring you in for a close up now while they're still wet, both the earrings and the painting, and then we can compare what they look like when they're dry. All right, there is the painting. It's really cool. It's like a Lisa Frank uh, fan's trippy daydream or something like that. <laughs> it's pretty nuts. I like it a lot. Very cool. Here we have the earrings that we poured over. You can see where some of the black is starting to peek through in a couple places. I'm curious how that will change, just like with the painting. I'm curious how the black will affect the final product. Kinda wish that I had put my paints in little squeezy bottles with uh, like a narrow tip. That would have really changed the way this came out, I think. Future reference. I will probably be doing this again on other earrings because this is freaking cool. And yeah, maybe I'll do a bigger canvas with more pairs of earrings. Hmm, I'm getting more ideas. But I definitely got to get some little, like, condiment bottles, little squeezy bottles. So, stay tuned. We'll be back when they're dry. Are we ready for the reveal? I'm ready for the reveal. Are you ready for the reveal? Because I'm ready for the reveal. Let's do this. The painting. I love it. I'm not even necessarily a huge fan of neon colors, but this is awesome. So awesome. It's taken me back to the 90s. All the Lisa Frank goodness that my childhood brought me. I'm going to bring you in for a close-up, because why not? And uh, then we'll get on to the earrings. Bennett. 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 I mean, as you can see, there are a couple of places where the black paint I put on the earrings uh, kind of was pushed off of the... Uh, it's pushed off the earrings, but I like it. I like the way that turned out. Still not sure what this is down here, but hey, it's just adding character to the piece. This was fun. This was a lot of fun. So, let's get that out of here. And the real star of the show, the real MVP, are these. I'm really excited about these. The black came through a little bit like I thought it would. Neons, uh, unless you paint really thick, neon colors are going to kind of have this ghosty effect on um, on other colors, especially black. The black is just kind of going to peek through. And I really dig these. I'm not sure what happened here. I don't know if that's just the way it dried or if something touched it. It wasn't the cat. The cat did not get to these, so I can't blame her. These turned out really cool. I'm very excited. I need to sand the back of them and maybe paint a layer of black on them. And then I need to 
seal them, which I may just do with spray sealer I use for my, uh, my paintings. I think I may just do that, but that's going to be for another video. Um, and there we have it. This was a lot of fun. I am really excited to see the earrings finished eventually. I think he, maybe next week I'll do the other set of earrings and then I'll make a video where I um, sand and um, seal the earring pieces and then um, return them to their earring-like state. I think that's what I'll do. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a great day.